Hey everyone, welcome back. We have something today. Right now, big thing on YouTube and the algorithm is reaction videos, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna do one better. We're gonna do reaction to reaction videos. So on Beyond Wednesday, Brian McClay's show uh, over on his channel, he did in the drama alert, uh, Nick G had a thing to say about CBCS. He was very disturbed about it. We're gonna look at it, give you some commentary, commentate, comment potate, pater. Cue the laptop. Nick G. Q, who I know some people go crazy when I bring him on the show, but I'm going to bring him on tonight. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> we're going to show one of his posts that he put up. Now, if you know Nick G. Q, he has long time had a comic book and collectibles business. He sells, he was an early whatnot guy. He sells on a lot of secondary uh, or, or third market live apps and stuff. And he was, has always been a big CBCS guy, right? Well, this is very interesting. He... See, there are some people who aren't CGC homers, right? There are some people that want to see quality and whether it's the highest price getter or not, they're going to, uh, you know, stick with their guns and get what they think is the, the best quality for the price. All right, so let's see what he has to say. And this was very interesting to me, and we'll talk about it after what he what he says afterwards. Here we go. Now, something hit very personal, very angry and upset, and more so disappointed and let down. So I'm going to talk about my 1969 The Ring Wrestling Magazine featuring Bill Watts and women's wrestling. This issue is very important. This is the August 1969 issue. By the way, uh, many magazine collectors on the show tonight uh, and new magazine collectors out there now, this is a tough one for magazine collectors. You're now, Nick G mentions it. Brian mentions it. It is a very, very tough magazine to find, period, right? Uh, 69 Wrestling Magazine. Um, those of us that collect wrestling uh, memorabilia and wrestling magazines know how hard it is to find anything uh, pre-1980. Like, when you find stuff in the 70s, it's a dream. Imagine getting back to 69. Um, it's a super, super tough book. Gonna be pissed. Well, you're going to be pissed about this. I think a lot of people will be pissed yeah, about this. Yeah, this is like a wrestling magazine. This is like a holy grail. And, and I think even... The biggest CBCS fan that I know, Mr. Dennis Barger, might be pissed about this one, too. Hold on. Uh, where they do discuss women's wrestling sex or ability. Now, we do know <clears throat> how women's wrestling evolved. Uh, the women's revolution, women's wrestling. But um, this, this is one of the best condition copies in the world that exists. The ring is based right here in Brooklyn, New York. Um, so I send this in to the CBCS to be magazine encapsulated graded because you guys have seen me be an advocate and talk about how much better and stronger a CBS, CBCS slab is compared to a CGC slab. I like the grading. I like the actual physical slab. It's stronger. Um, and then I receive a message that I thought I would never receive in my life from the CBCS. And they're like, Nick, we, we can't gr Now, Look, he's getting pissed. He's, he's trying to tell this story and he's like, you could tell him he's like, motherfucker. He's starting to Hulk out. <laughs> yeah. Give me the percent. I think he's gonna Hulk out. Of... Yep. He looks like he's gonna Hulk out exactly. And I don't blame him on this one. This one's fucked up. I can up. hear it right in the tone of his voice because his yeah. voice is starting to go up a notch. Yep. The documented conversations up. I was gonna expose people's names. I feel they should be fired. Um, but I'm not gonna go there yet. I'm not. I'm making a point though. So. I'm here for years advocating. I don't get shit in return. I don't ask for favors. Nothing. 
I advocate for the CBCS because I firmly believe they are better than the CGC. Great. Lock that down. Listen to that strong. He's a madman for CBCS. He thinks they are the slabs better. He thinks the grading is better. And what they don't see when we're going we're to get to, and I'm, I'm going to get on that a lot, is they're, they're not seeing the forest for the trees on this. And I, and I get why he's upset, right? Uh, because, you know, if you're trying to make the maximum dollar, you want a graded copy. Uh, but grading in quality, in slabs, in professionalism. Yeah. And then I get the message that really rubbed me the wrong way. All right, you guys on the panel and in the chat, what do you think it was about? And don't oh, tell me if man. you know, do you think that oh. they ripped a book? Do you think that they ripped a cover? Do you think that they lost something? Like, what do you what do you think is going on here? I think they ripped the book. No, because it says no sex, idea. they can't they can't encapsulate it. That's what you think it is, because it says sex, so they can't encapsulate it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I can't sell my hustler to them. So the I, I don't know. I, I'm just guessing. That's a that's a good that's a good one. That's a good one. It's interesting. Mm. It's interesting. I have no idea. Honestly. All right, this is bullshit and possibly changed my mind on the dynamic and the internal structure of, of that company right now. And I'm, I'm gonna say it verbatim. I was then given a message saying, Nick, we cannot grade your, your magazine because we don't have a person staffed with the knowledge to authenticate, validate, and grade the book. There, right there, the integrity, there it is. Now, now there's the red flag of all red flags. I think that's not a red flag. I think 100% that's a green flag. And I'll tell you why. He talked about the professionalism. Having integrity is the most professional thing you can have. And instead of just throwing this in a magazine uh, slab and throwing a grade on it, because I, I think they didn't have a problem grading it because grading is basically condition. It doesn't matter if it's a, um, a film monsters or a Vampirella or a ring magazine or a sports illustrated magazine. They all have a condition is the same, right? But what he said early on was authenticating and validating. They didn't have anybody who, they just already talked about how rare of a magazine this is. But then they're shocked that they don't have anybody that can actually validate it or authenticate it. This is a company, obviously, that wants their graders to have seen, experienced one of these books in the past so they know what's supposed to be in it. What if there's a pinup? And a lot of wrestling magazines had pinups that didn't have a page count. I'm not... 100% familiar with this particular magazine. I'm not saying it does, but what I'm saying is, is that they might not know if it needed to have a pinup in it or not. If there was some type of advertising that may have been ripped out of it, um, whether it was advertising or was it story. I mean, these are things that you need to authenticate and validate. What CBCS has done has said, we have integrity. We are not going to just throw this in a slab, grade it, and send it back to you. We are going to tell you that we can't, in good conscience, grade this with the experience of that. Now, what do we put that against? CGC. So CGC had a recent video out meeting a nice young lady who's a, a modern grader who said she has no experience and no training in grading, that the only experience she had is her collecting. And now we're putting this against the company who's saying, listen, even with all of our very professional graders, they don't have enough experience in this particular book to authenticate it. Now, Nick does say that he gave, uh, and, and I'm gonna let him tell you, but there's an important part in this that could have taken this further, but notice that he's holding the magazine. So, they sent the magazine back to him and refunded his money. 
and they probably covered the shipping back to him. He doesn't say it, but he doesn't say that he had to pay the shipping back to him. So my guess is that CBCS took it upon themselves to ship it back when they couldn't grade it, not at his cost, and refund him his whole money. You don't even get your money back from CGC when they lose one of your books. They want to give you a credit. So this is a company giving you back full money and shipping it back to you. What? Holy cow. And you're asking yourself, why is that the red flag of all red flags? He nails it right here. Now you're, you're now run now, you're owned by Beckett. I, I want to word that correctly. Beckett's now involved, right? I reply back now very seriously. You guys know how I get. And I'm like, CGC grades them no problem. Are you telling me that you are not better or if not equal or better in expertise and professionalism as the CGC? great fucking response holy shit nick gq i went i was like holy he's right he's fucking right all right brian i love your brother but he's not right <laughs> he he's upset right and yes cgc will grade it but again that's because they won't send you a back book that they're not familiar with they don't care they're just going to grade it. They're going to just look at the condition and grade it. And that's not really authenticating and validating. That is just saying the condition of the book. Um, they can say it's complete, but you, how do they know that it's complete? And as far as being part with Beckett, Beckett is a sports card company. They don't have anything to do with magazines. Um, they may be doing uh, Beckett magazines but I believe the Beckett magazines are being graded by CBCS uh, uh, and CGC and not, not through Beckett themselves. So they, just because they're experts in sports doesn't mean that they're experts in this particular magazine. Now there is, he's getting to it. This, this next part is the part where I think CBCS could have taken it upon themselves to go the extra mile. Um, I think they've gone the mile, but the extra mile they may not have. You're right. If CBCS tells you they can't grade something that CGC grades, that's a fucking problem. That's a problem. Yeah. Or, or at the very least, like contract out someone that can't, you know, because find somebody it's that a, you, yeah, that you trust. Yeah, that can that you can authenticate it. You know, you can have anyone grade the magazine itself. It's right? a, it's a sports magazine. He makes a great point there that have someone separately authenticate it and then have, you know, one of your graders grade it. And that makes a lot of sense. The problem is, is finding somebody that you trust to authenticate it, right? It's one of the rarest uh, wrestling magazines out there. Um, I've never seen one uh, and I buy, buy an awful lot. Uh, since it, I've been buying wrestling since I was in my 20s. So over 30 years and I've never seen one. Uh, I've probably never had a wrestling magazine. Uh, I had some stuff, some weird stuff from the 60s, uh, early, mid 60s, but I, um, super mass produced stuff, not, not anything really great and not in great condition, but. Beckett's involved. You should be able to grade sports magazines. They grade sports magazines constantly. Mm -hmm. It continues right. with, with that much of a resource. Yes, what of having both Beckett and you know uh, CBCS there, like you should be able to like find someone within your office that knows something about it. All right, here we go. Because now you are saying that you cannot grade and encapsulate this vintage magazine because you don't have the st the the person on staff with the knowledge to authenticate and grade this book. Like, like as if I, I created it myself like these other cornball people that create their own variants see this this is what has made him angry he feels that they are saying that he may have faked this book because it's in such great maybe because it's in such great condition but now look at how much integrity they had at he is one of their stalwarts decade worth of sticking with cbcs talks about it all the time and he gets returned a book that shows the utmost integrity. Like, CB, I can guarantee you CGC has homers who get 9.9s. We know who you are, Tom. <laughs> we know who you are. 
and they'll send you anything. And like he said, these cornballs who make these uh, fake covers for other books, um, and CGC will do it, but CBCS won't. And he's mad that he, he feels that that's what they're saying by sending him the book back, that it's fake. And I don't think that's what they were saying. Variants? But yet you grade those. So... Holy shit, man. Oh, Nick damn. GQ is fucking dropping the mic on this one. Shout out to Nick. This, is a, this was a great post. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, Nick GQ, he's a fucking, he's a savant, my friend. He, 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 he throws out some heat uh, on, on these, uh, what do they call these when you're talking into the camera like this? They like, call them like when you write them an op-ed, but there's something that they call it when you do this. Then I send screenshots of all the CGC Ring magazines. I send them the Brooklyn, New York address with the phone number directly to Ring. So now you have head graders over there. You, you guys know who, who they are. I don't have to drop names and embarrass them even further, which I should. I'm not going <laughs> to do that yet. Yet. And then I get a reply back to that saying... Uh, we're sorry, we, we, we again don't have the staff or, uh, to do that. I think here is where he has his point, is they could have went that extra mile. And if they had, not only would they have satisfied a really good customer, they would have gained the experience going forward for anyone else that wanted to do that. So I think that they could have went that extra mile. You all know I'd, I, I'm not a fan of grading, no matter who does it, but I... I mean, I do lean towards if you're going to hold the book for a long time and you're not just turning and burning, that I would prefer either uh, CBCS or EGS who have UV protected um, slabs because it, after a long time, if you have them anywhere on display, new lights in your house, uh, the LEDs will fade your books if you didn't know that. Um, it will take longer than sunlight, but it will. If you have sunlight coming into the room, it will find your books and fade them. And then you'll have a 9.8 that'll look washed out and everybody will like, how's that a 9.8? Because it's not encapsulated correctly. Um, but yeah, so this is, I think the only point he has is where he gave them the information to get them to go the extra mile and they decided against it, uh, which I think is poor business. Um, cause I think that this would have been a totally different, uh, vlog from Nick G had they went and made that call, got that resource and done it. This would have been a totally different thing. It would have been, Hey, um, as a customer, you know, they weren't going to grade this. And then I gave them the information they needed. They went and, uh, in search of, um, the company and they got the information they needed and then graded it it would have been a much better story for CBCS. But I don't think this is a bad story for CBCS. I think this is a great story because they're not willing to give up their integrity like CGC is. Um, to grade and encapsulate and validate the authentic authenticity of this, we're gonna send you a refund and send it back to you. I washed my hands of the CBCS at that time. So I replied back and I specifically said, make sure your whole staff has the popcorn ready because I will make this public. With that being said, as a lesson now, for that company to have given me that reply that they can, cannot grade and encapsulate this vintage ring wrestling magazine from August 1969 shows me that they are not on the professional level. They are, they are beneath the CGC. That's the anger. That's the anger coming out. Um, are they, they beneath uh, in sales? I can guarantee you be in sales, but I would say in integrity, way above. And if you want to keep doing business with a company that has no integrity, good luck with stolen books. Good luck with lost books. Good luck with damaged books. Good luck with uh, you know uh, books being undergraded. Uh, that were that are going to auction so certain people can buy them at the undergrade and then regrade them. Be happy with uh, overgrades, uh, getting nine nines and nine eights and then having them on your wall and then later down the road when people look at it go, 
man, I, I know it says 9.8 up there, but I'm not paying a 9.8 price for this book. Um, yeah, I mean, integrity should be what we're looking for. And, and that's 100% what CBCS is doing here, is there, there's, when you have to give back money, businesses hate to give back money, but it shows a lot of integrity. The CGC, I love how he calls it the CGC and the CBCS, which is probably right, right? The collecting grading company, <laughs> collectibles grading company, and the comic book something, something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's right. I mean, again, there he is. He's right. All right, here we go. And right now, I lose the debate, and I admit as a man that they are not better than the CGC because of this. He's got a good point. He's got a good point. Um, I, I don't necessarily know if I agree with that wholeheartedly. Uh, someone can, will change my mind, um, most likely. But if they're supposed to be held as high as a standard as CGC, they should be able to grade a, a, a magazine like that, especially having Beckett being there also. <laughs> because of this one magazine, I have now lost my almost decade debate of whom is better. And as a man, I say I lose the debate. I was wrong. Now, now I'm in a catch-22 because I do not like the CGC. I don't. This is where he's on Team Emmett. <laughs> I don't like the company. And this is why I respect Nick even more from putting at this post right here. I don't like the leadership. Oh, neither I think do that I. people should have been fired. Oh, which, absolutely. And they're still there. Yeah. So now I say this. I'm not grading anything. Oh. So I know that this is a near One more in the Emmett magazine. Camp. It is more than likely the best August 1969 in existence. I would have liked it encapsulated and graded by the CBCS because I love that slab. It's solid, it's strong, so now I don't grade it. And now I, I say this to, to all of you buyers, sellers, collectors, do you even need to grade a comic book? Because, no, listen. you don't. I love that CGC video with the person saying that there is no training to train to grade a comic book right there, right there is a- So he continues to go on, but this is very interesting, man. So, Brian, I hope I'm the guy that changes your mind about looking at it in a different way. Uh, I can understand Nick being upset because he feels like they thought he was trying to get one by them. Um, and that's where all the anger comes from. But on the other hand, you really should look at, hey, the company I stood behind all these years is showing the world that they have integrity and that they're when they make a mistake, they're gonna make it right. And if they can't make the right call, they'll also make the real right call by giving you back your money and sending you back your book. That's all I gotta say. Keep reading comics. <laughs>